We are in Mexico. I have no clue where. And we found a little store on the side of the road that does have a few tackle items. So we're gonna walk and see what they have. And see if I can catch some fish on the beach while we're here. All the lures you have? Yes, yes, this is, we got a here like a macro, uh, spoons or the jigs. Yeah, yeah, this, I mean, this stuff will work. <laughs> It'll work if you. I don't need the reel if you want to sell. Can you sell it separate? Yeah, okay. I'm just getting a cheap rod because I couldn't travel with it. So we found a small tackle store, get some lures. They've got some pretty sweet little diamond jigs. These will definitely catch fish. He's got a few different options, so we're gonna get some of those and some jerk baits. That will that's all you need. I've always said, give me a jerk bait and something shiny, and I can catch anything. So we'll see if we can make it happen. I get the uh. Uh, no, yep, that, yep, that one. Lisa, hey, you steal? And what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Just walking out onto the beach in front of our resort area that we're staying at here. Still early, getting an early start. This morning, I'm throwing a spoon that I got at that little shop that had a few lures. I've got what I think is 50 pound mono. I picked it up at the shop. I did bring my Daiwa BG MQ 6000 with me and I've got 30 pound braid on it. And I'm using the Okuma Revenger. This is the rod that I picked up at that little shop in Mexico because I was unable to travel with everything that I needed. The rod's very whippy. Um, I'd like something a little bit more stiff that's okay, it's a nine foot rod and it allows me to get out here and fish. But just walking the beach, I'm observing today, trying to just look for any activity, which I've seen none so far this morning. I've been on the beach for about 20, 30 minutes. It's beautiful. We got nice terrain, beautiful condos and homes right here next to the beach. Here in Punta de Mita, that is where we are. Punta de Mita, Mexico, I believe. I think we have a few different species available to us. I'm not 100% sure all the different species they have around this area. But there are Jack Crevel, which there, it is actually a, a different species of Jack Crevel here on the west coast. They do also have either Spanish mackerel or Sierra mackerel here. I'm not sure which species. I don't know if it's the exact same species of Spanish that we have at home or if it is the Sierra. I don't know. So Jack's Spanish. Uh, there could be some other stuff. Don't know what all my opportunities are. I have seen some videos while I was doing a little bit of research, uh, people do catch Bonita from the beach here too, occasionally. But anything would be a win. I don't care what I catch. We're in a different country. Whole new beach. It's a whole new world. <laughs> Any fish we catch is a good one. Oh. All right, there's fish busting. They are a little far out, but that's my first sign of life. Okay. School of fish. Oh, let's see. We can ease out here. We get it cast a little bit further out. I got my phone in my pocket, so you gotta be careful. Um, I don't see him anymore. But we'll just get a long cast over here all right so we saw some life it's a good good thing oh gosh some snatched it right there holy smokes oh oh saw fish blowing up and he snatched it hopefully it doesn't cut me off I don't know what it is. Hopefully it's nothing with teeth. Gosh. 
It's a jack. Okay. Oh, that's probably what was blowing up out there. Oh, that's that's pretty sick. These are different species of jack. Oh man, that you have a heart racing. All right, first fish in Punta de Mita. It's a jack. Dude, he snatched it too, man. That was awesome. You can see they, they kind of look a little different. They're kind of a little more broad. Uh, got a little different look to them than back home. All right, buddy. Get your back. See you, dude. Woo! Dude, he snatched it. Oh, <laughs> that was so, so dope. Like right in the wave too. I wasn't expecting it. He, he just hit it and just ran. Ah, oh, man, that was awesome. I don't know if that's what was blowing up out there, but it hit really close. Oh, they're, they're, they're still blowing up. There's still fish blowing up out there. I don't know if I can get out there. Come on. Man. I need them to come in. Come on, fish. Push. Push in. Push in. It's so cool to just see fish busting. It's very exciting. Just wish they would uh, get a little closer for me. Oh, there's a fish. Oh gosh, right there. I just saw a fish blowing up over there. I got distracted and got snatched. Man, these fish hit so hard. Good gracious, yeah, those, I think those are in casting range too. These fish out here, they just started blowing up. This one feels different. What is that? Okay. <laughs> this is, uh, looks like a, uh, this looks a little jack. I thought it was uh, a blue runner at first. That's another little jack. Man, they just, they are snatching it this morning. God, these fish hit so hard. I just started looking over here to my right. Yeah, they're still out there too, and they're closer. I think I can reach that where the school is right now. They're right there. I think I'm gonna go through them. Fish just blew up right there. Well, this is pretty fun. New country, on vacation, getting a fish, catching jacks. I do love jacks. Come on. Man, that went in them and they did not get hit. I wonder what those fish are. They're being a little pickier. I wonder if they need a smaller profile. I kind of assumed they were jacks, but I just went right through that school of fish that was busted. And they did not hit my spoon. Busting out here. I don't know if that's a different school or the same one. Something's running baits over here. I just changed to the diamond jig, a little smaller profile. There's a fish, there's a fish. There we go, on the diamond jig. A <laughs> little jack. <laughs> he snatched it though, they are snatching it up today. They've been progressively getting smaller. Oh, there you go buddy. Something was pushing baits though, and they were smaller baits. And they were pushing them really fast. It kind of looked, to me, kind of looked like Spanish or Bonita, kind of how they would feed and push baits. So that's why I switched over to this diamond jig right here. Uh, beautiful little diamond jig, picked it up at that random Mexican shop. Sun has finally made it up from behind me. Oh, fish right there. Oh gosh. Dang. 
Oh, it's still there, still there, still there. Swimming fast. Oh goodness, I thought it got off. Man, that was a blind cast. I, it had died down a lot. Every time this fish hit, it's just like, holy smokes. A lot of jacks this morning. Pretty little guy. They do look a little different over here. See you, buddy. It could be this really flimsy rod, too. Every time they hit it, I'm just like, holy smokes. <laughs> they just hit it so hard. They're not even that big. There's a fish. There's a fish. That feels like a decent one. Oh, they, I don't know. They all feel pretty decent on this uh, little rod here. Might be another jack. Don't know. It's all they catch this morning. Saw some bait working a little bit right there. Threw in them. Let's see what we got. It's kind of fighting different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another little jag. This one looks a little bit different than the last one. It's not quite as uh, broad and it's got some kind of lines on them a little bit. You want to see it? What's that? That's a Jack Crevel. Wow. He's pretty. Yeah, they're pretty cool <laughs> fish. That's cool. Yeah. Perfect timing, huh? That's right. All right, we'll get you back. This is one of the better fish of the day. He splashed me, so you may not be able to see. Oh, there's some uh, fish working down there. Might have to run and see what's going on there. But uh, we'll get you back, buddy. See ya. Woo! We got, we got a frenzy going on down here. Look at all this. Uh, got some fish busting on some baits. Oh! Got, got popped. That's the first fish I've missed. <laughs> Got popped on that one. See any prey? Seeing if there was any prey in it, if it was something different. Oh, this is awesome. Let's see if there's any more in here. Come on. A lot of bait. Oh, there's another fish. There's another fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. A little late morning run. Oh, they are going nuts over there. I thought it was pretty much done for the morning. But they have started blowing up right by the beach. Looks like another jack. Yep. Awesome. These fish are so cool, man. I don't know how many that is this morning, but another nice jack Crevel. Still a ton of bait going on out here. We'll get you back. See you, dude. Let you get in it. Oh. <laughs> there they are. They just came up right in front of me. Let's see, come on. Oh, there's another fish. Dang! <laughs> they are going insane right here, blowing up. Look at them. <laughs> Feed frenzy here. Come on. I wonder if there's anything else in them. All these jacks. Jacks are abundant and Punta de Mita. Don't throw that on me. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, they're so fun. See you, dude. All right. They're busting. Whacking them with the diamond jig. Any beach in the world. If you've got something shiny that you can reel fast, there's predator fish around. I promise you got a good shot at catching something. There was a, I don't know what it was, but something really big chased in some ballyhoo, probably two, 300 yards off of the beach and exploded right before all of that happened. Uh, 
I don't know if it was a Dorado or a Rooster or a Big Jack. I do not know, but it, it came in so hot. The late morning Jack flurry seems to have gone away. I don't see anything now, but that was pretty quick, pretty sweet. That was the best action I've had all morning. They pushed right up to the beach, a ton of bait. Very fun first morning of fishing here in Punta de Mita. Love catching jacks. Uh, I think here, I think there are two different, I need to look it up, but I think there's actually two different species of jack. And I think I caught both of them. If you notice that first jack that I caught this morning, it was like more broad and didn't have really any color whatsoever. It's real, pretty much white. And then the last few jacks that I caught were more linear and they kind of had some stripe, stripes on them. And so I think they're actually two different species of jack. Jack Curvel, but some different subspecies or something. I'm gonna try to look it up. If you know, comment in the comment section below. I'm over here on the west coast of Mexico and I think they just have a few different jack species that we do not have back in my hometown of Gulf Shores, Alabama. But great morning, a lot of fun. Gonna have to come back out here some more this week see what else I can get into I've only got a few lures I don't have a ton of options and of course just the one rod so just trying to make it happen and have a good time while we're out here but uh, if you did enjoy the video give it a big thumbs up and as always you stay bummy